Even before the pandemic, plenty of retailers were understaffed. You know, the frontline teams of retail stores have been asked to do more and more and more even before COVID ever struck. But when the pandemic got rolling, it changed frontline workers' reality dramatically with all the new tasks, responsibilities, and obligations that they had to take on. When COVID-19 hit, retailing as we know it changed. My name is Mark Risky, and over the course of this nine-part series, we're going to examine the impact the pandemic has had on store traffic and shopper conversion patterns. Let's start with what has become emblematic of the whole pandemic, hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer and wiping down surfaces. Imagine how much lost productivity there has been as a result of merely hand sanitizers and making sure surfaces are clean. And what happens when staff are busy cleaning surfaces? Well, they're not serving customers. How could they possibly? But keeping the store shelves stocked was really, truly the number one priority. You know, as fast as retailers could bring product into their stores, they had to turn around and put it right out on their shelves. And it would turn so quickly that staff could barely keep up. Not only did they have the responsibility of making sure they got stock out in time, but also dealing with the litany of questions from customers asking, do you have any more hygiene wipes? Of course, they didn't have any. And so dealing with those customer questions became part of what they had to deal with day in and day out. But beyond stocking shelves and wiping down surfaces, frontline staff were also called upon to do some fairly extraordinary things, even unusual. Namely, taking the temperature of shoppers as they entered the store. Now, if you can imagine, it was thought early on in the pandemic that in an elevated body temperature or a fever was indicative of somebody that was infected. And so what some retailers did is they procured temperature guns. Literally, these devices look like guns. And as clients and customers walked up to the store, they were literally shot in the forehead with a temperature gun. How invasive was this? Imagine starting your shopper, shopping journey being shot in your forehead. This put tremendous strain on the frontline workers to capture awkwardly this biometric data. But nonetheless, they did it because that's what they were called upon to do. But there is even more disturbing behavior that frontline workers had to deal with, namely belligerent shoppers. You know, as it turned out, shoppers weren't very sympathetic despite the heroic efforts on the part of frontline workers. And sadly, our frontline store staff found themselves right in the middle of abusive and sometimes physically violent shoppers, anti-vaxxers, anti-maskers, some of these workers tragically even lost their lives. So what are the key takeaways from this lesson? Number one, retailers need to re-examine their labor models. You cannot expect your frontline staff to do everything that they need to do to deliver a customer experience and also maintain all the protocols that are changing day in and day out. And number two, you have to look seriously at your security protocols. What we saw in terms of violent and abusive behavior should not be tolerated, and nor should frontline staff be put in the position to try to police that. For our next lesson, we're gonna look at how tracking your store operating days are critical in a case of a pandemic like we're experiencing. And while you might think it'd be an easy problem to solve, as it turned out, it was anything but.